Dr. Derek Fincher, President of the Great Atlantic Christian, Atlanta Christian School, distinguished faculty and staff, distinguished friends, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very pleased to be here with you at the Greater Atlanta Christian School. And thank you very much for your gracious hospitality. It has been interesting to see firsthand the vision and day-to-day -day practice of this great school. And this visit has brought great appreciation for the initiative to replicate this model in Rwanda in the form of what is now being called the Central Africa School of Excellence. This is not just going to serve Rwanda alone. Through Rwanda, it is going to serve the rest of our continent. Above all, today, we have seen that we share a common passion for investing in quality education for the good of our young people and ultimately our nation and global community. Distinguished friends in Rwanda, education is a top priority because we consider it to be the key to unlocking our development objectives. All studies have shown that investments in human capital have invariably produced high economic returns. We have no doubt that education empowers people, enlightens them, and in the end creates wealth for them. We are aware that countries which were similar to ours only a few decades ago that decided to invest in education have moved from poverty and deprivation to social economic prosperity. We know that even countries without abundant natural resources can transform radically on the basis of the knowledge and skills that their people have acquired. That is our belief, and that's why we have decided to invest significantly in education. Rwanda is taking a holistic approach to strengthening our education sector. Already the first nine years of basic education are free, and we aim to extend that to all, or all the way through <coughs> secondary school. As a result of this policy, net enrollment in primary and secondary schools has increased. Additionally, in the last few years, several new private universities have been created. Where possible, we are sending students to reputable universities here in the US and elsewhere so that they can get the best education and return to share the expertise and their insights. We believe that we will have positive, that will have a positive knock-on effect on our development process. Our government policy of empowering women and girls 
necessarily extends to the education sector. It is clear that equal access to education is the foundation for other development objectives. So as more girls and women are educated, our country benefits. It goes without saying that meeting the considerable demands in our education sector is equally demanding on our resources. This reality is what makes collaboration with institutions such as the Greater Atlanta Christian School all the more meaningful. And I most sincerely, on behalf of the people of Rwanda, want to appreciate that. We appreciate your commitment to a positive value-based education and the spirit of excellence. We in Rwanda are always ready to partner with like-minded friends and look forward to a deeper engagement with you as we continue to develop educational institutions that will turn our students into professionals of high standing who are successful as individuals and dedicated to their communities. Before I conclude once again, I most sincerely wanted to thank you all for being here to welcome us, to share with us our thoughts, and thank the Great Atlanta Christian School and the community. Uh, want to thank them for the very warm hospitality and friendship and the welcome we have received since uh, we arrived. I will go back with a sense of uh, success for our being here and what we've been exposed to and uh, I'll be happy to take back these memories to the people of Rwanda who I am sure will be very happy to reciprocate this friendship and partnership, a very strong partnership that we intend to create with this school and the city of Atlanta and the greater Georgia state and communities. I want to thank you very much for everything uh, and those who have served us a very delicious lunch. I want to thank you all. Um, I want to thank you most sincerely for the interest you have in our country, Rwanda, and for this invitation that was extended to us to visit. This is not going to be the last. We will be back. <laughs> and we invite, I want to invite you all, if uh, you ever find time in your schedules, very busy schedule that you have, please visit our country. We want you to feel the friendship that uh, the people of Rwanda will be very keen to extend to you. Thank you very much.